Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 5th for our FI LTM series. And we are going to continue our setup utility in this video. And we are going to cover how we can do resource provisioning, what are the types that are available, what is certificate provisioning, what is platform setups. We are going to see all these options in this video. And this is very much required because when you are configuring F5 from the scratch, you have to set up all this. And also this is important for troubleshooting purpose as well. Let's say if you want to understand what is happening into the device, you should know the options, right? Then only you'll be able to uh, troubleshoot the issues, right? Uh, from the device perspective. So I'll request you to please watch this video till then so that it will be helpful for your troubleshooting and as well as when you are configuring F5 from the scratch, these options will be available. And also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me. So without any further delay, let's get started. So friends, now we'll understand what is resource provisioning with the help of this screenshot. Okay. Now basically what does a resource mean is your CPU, your RAM and your disk for that particular appliance. Okay. What you brought physically or maybe virtually whatever you say. So now in the last video, what we have discussed about is if you have not seen that video, I'll re highly recommend you to please see that full video because I have explained about the modules of F5. So basically when you install F5 software, okay, so what happens exactly you inside the F5 image, there are a lot of modules that are available, right? So LTM module, GTM module, ASM module. So a lot of modules are there. So once whatever license that you are having, you can activate those modules. So let's say I want to activate LTM module, okay, which we are going to talk about in this entire series. So we can allocate some of or maybe a dedicated CPU, RAM and disk to this particular module. So that is the whole idea about resource provisioning. So resource provisioning is nothing but we want to allocate some of the CPU, RAM and disk to some of the module. If somebody asks you about resource provisioning, you simply say that a module that can be allocated with some amount of CPU, RAM and disk. Okay. Now we'll talk about what are the types that are available. For that one, we will go directly to the lab. So friends, uh, let's get into the GUI. And before that, I'll just rub this off and we'll go to the GUI straight away. Now, as you as you can see the GUI of our F5 device, if I wanted to show you the topology of F5, the other devices are uh, shut down right now. Only the big IP is turned on. Why? Because I am just setting up it. So in last video, we have activated our F5 and we have seen how we can do that. Okay. Now, uh, after activating the license, will get into the resource provisioning in resource pro provisioning once you activate the license we'll get to know what are the modules uh, of license that we have got so with the help of demo license we have got quite a few licenses maybe if i give an example of asm gtm and apm those licenses we have got but for this video series i am going to use ltm license Okay, and now each module can be provisioned with some of the resources. Now there are few types that are available to allocate resources to the modules. Okay, I'll talk about first those things. So friends, we'll go back to the notes and uh, we'll try to understand each of the type. So friends, we have got four type of uh, resource provisioning type. Okay. 
so dedicated means that all the cpu disk and memory that module will take all the resource basically means the priority will be there for that particular module so let's say for ltm if we select as dedicated it will take all the cpu disk and memory so the dedicated modules will have first priority so if i talk about nominal at the start of any module let's say if we boot any uh, any of the appliance okay so if the module is assigned with nominal in that case it will take lower resource okay first of all and if required it increases increases the resource if required okay now in terms of minimum what happens is only the minimum uh, amount of resources will be assigned to this module okay so the least priority okay none means we are not activating the module itself we are not saying that you will be using any of the memory whatever it is dedicated nominal or minimum you are not going to use any of the resources so basically we are not activating the module we have license we are having the license but we are not activating it basically okay so this is the first priority okay and this is as required if i want and this is the least priority or the last priority i can say okay so this is what we understand with the help of resource provisioning okay now if we go to the gui again so now we are seeing a management module as well this is to manage the devices like to ssh or maybe to gui to the f5 devices and all those things okay as this is a lab okay we will assign it as a small we don't need medium or large because i am going to log into the device not more than that like more more people are not logging into this device so as i will keep it as small and for this one i will just take it as nominal because it takes the uh, the the minimum resource and after that if required it takes more uh, cpu ram and disk okay so this will set as nominal now we'll go next so friends the next part is certificate provisioning okay so we'll go straight to the gui of the device and we'll see how what we can do for this one so this is the device certificate that we see right now this is the self signed certificate as you see the c issuer is self okay if you want you can import a certificate a valid certificate meaning that you can go into very sign or any other company you can take a new certificate and you can upload over here these certificates will be valid when we create a trust between two devices so this will be helpful okay because we are creating the trust between two devices okay right now for this lab we are not uh, going to bother any more regarding this one so we'll just click next because this is the self signed certificate and whatever error that you are getting because this certificate is not there in your browser if you see in the browser this is self signed certificate if you understand how certificate works that will be fine and maybe if you are not aware how certificate works you can click on the i button and you will be able to see that okay i have created a video on that i will link them into the i button okay now as we are not going to import any new certificate we'll just click next okay so friends once you reach the platform setup 
you have to specify the IP address. Okay, as this is configured as DSCP right now, we'll just leave it as DSCP. If you want, you can just click on and you can configure your manual IP address. So I'll just keep as DSCP IP address and then you have to give your host name. Now, whatever glue uh, thing that you are seeing over here, you have to put the those information okay so right now i'll just put it as local dot lab okay now host ip address meaning that i want to use the ip address of this to manage the fi device i'm going to use the management ip address now here i if i want to choose the timing I will be choosing as I guess this is Calcutta that I'm going to choose and here I'll just specify the root password okay and this is the confirmation okay I am enabling it the SSS access so if I want I can enable the SSS access and specify the range as well so make sure you enable this specific range where from where your engineers are setting and they are accessing so maybe you can specify the management submit where the the network engineers where they are setting they can access from that range specifically as this is a lab i'm just specifying as all or all the addresses okay we'll just click next okay so now it is loading and it is asking to configure all this okay so we don't need to do it right now we'll just finish this one set up utility and we'll manually will do all this configuration that like uh, setting up the vlans ntp dns and all those things okay just just finish it so once you finish you'll be able to see the dashboard right now okay all the options the dns the local traffic everything as we have already set up it okay so this is what i wanted to cover in this video now we have seen like how we can do the licensing of the device how we can do the resource provisioning of the device now we'll see how we can configure the ip addresses the pool information and all those things and i will highly recommend you to please go into documentation and read about every things okay so if this video enhance your knowledge i'll highly recommend you to please put a like and subscribe and share with your friends okay if you have any suggestions put it on the comment and uh, maybe you can send me an email instagram message or maybe facebook message wherever you want i wanted to say each of my friends a big thank you because you guys have supported me every time when i was not uploading my video as well so a uh, uh, very big thank you to all you guys because we are becoming a stronger community right now uh, will touch our uh, first milestone milestone which is 10k and we will become 100k as soon as possible this is your support guys actually it motivates me a lot okay and there are a lot of things that i wanted to do uh, for you guys uh, even together we can do a lot more things so I wanted to make this channel as public as available to everybody so that they can understand each and every technology and they can pursue their dreams career okay so I just wanted to say a last thing that please subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload any video you see that thank you so much for watching